Hello there, YouTube. Atsi back once again. This is episode 30 of our All Achievements Challenge in Modded Minecraft. And at the after the end of the last stream, I did a couple of things. Uh, I increased our power a bit. I added three more culinary generators and increased these furnaces to be hardened so they process wheat uh, and bread and toast a lot faster. Also that we could increase our power output to make 12 charged draconium blocks, which is what we have right here. Uh, also through the course of uh, just messing around getting those up, I uh, had to get some more redstone, so did a little bit of caving and did that. Um, but really that's all I did outside of not outside of the end of the the last stream. Um, it's really the first time that I had some gameplay that I didn't record and for whatever reason I just wasn't feeling up to it. Because um, it was grindy and I didn't want to stream again. But I needed that power because in this episode we are going to make us some awakened draconic ingots or blocks. So, um, how we do that, and let's go ahead and see if we have our book on us. Nope, it's not there. So, this is fairly straightforward stuff. Um, there's a little bit of a trick that I want to do that I saw in um, my friend T Dub's video, uh, but we'll get to that here in a minute. So, charge draconic. So we have 100 million RF to make one of those, so do the math. That's a lot of uh, RF that we had to get. And let's go down to our dragon heart. So we drop a dragon heart in the ground and activate it with an explosion. Drop 4 to 16 draconic cores on the ground near the activated heart. 4 per charged draconic block. So we need 16 draconic cores. A few seconds, uh, we'll draw on all the nearby items. So let's go ahead and get us 16 draconic cores, and then a block of TNT and our heart. So draconic cores. Let's uh, get that going. And then we need our heart, and we need some TNT. So this is the old traditional way of making the awakened draconium. So let's go ahead and turn off this and this will get us four of those blocks. So let's go ahead and get ourselves all geared up to do that. Hopefully we can pull this off without any issues. Um, Quiet sheep, you're loud. Let's just go out here in the wilderness somewhere. Uh, this right here looks fine. So we'll put down our, oh, let's go a little bit away from our uh, quarry over there. Right here looks good. So let's put this down. We didn't grab a lever. Let's put that next to it. And let's get ourselves a lever. And hopefully this is the way that works. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Where's my uh, pouch? Huh. I seem to have lost my out pouch. There it is. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and blow this guy up. Then we will throw down our 16 cores. And while that gets sucked up, we'll place down our four charged draconium. Now that will turn into awakened draconic blocks, uh, which will fulfill the achievement for our draconic mod here. So as soon as we snatch these up, Excellent. 
Now, there's another way to get awakened draconium. I'm going to show you that next. It does not require the TNT. Um, so let's get to that. So let's go to our base. And what we need is to do the resurrection of the dragon. So let's find the resurrection ritual. Oops. What we need here, four diamond blocks, 12, well it tells you right here, 12 quartz pillars, four glowstone, four obsidian, four diamond blocks, four charged, draconic blocks. So let's get all that. Um, quartz pillars. I thought I had that auto-crafted. I guess I don't. Let's get some auto-crafted. Okay. So how do we do the pillars? Uh, let's see. I like that recipe better. Okay, let's go ahead and throw that in our machine over here. Here at the end looks just fabulous. And let's get 12 of these. Oops. Should go really quick. Let's get our four diamond blocks. Quite expensive, isn't it? Let's get our resurrection stone, very important. Our glowstone. And am I missing anything? Uh, obsidian. I need four pieces of obsidian. So I believe that is everything we need here. I also want to take our angel block. So let's go ahead and hop over to the end. And we'll just go to the end portal. And then we'll hop in. So you have to do this resurrection on the mainland of the end. Um, let's go ahead and fix our belt of flight. And we're just going to pick a spot like, I don't know, right here looks good. Oops, already had it set to three, I guess. Okay. Let's change that while we're thinking about it. That was for me mining in the end. Um, let's go ahead and put down our obsidian. Our glowstone. Let's fill in that hole. Resurrection stone, and then we can do our pillars. So that goes. I think you can be rather liberal with this. I don't think it has to be exactly like this. Um, but we'll just make it match. And this guy is, of course, very loud when he spawns. One of the loudest things in the world that you'd ever want to hear. But it's all worth it. Okay, now let's get that on our bar as well. So we should be able to wreck this guy's face in no time at all. So let's go ahead and right click. Let's turn down the sound. Let's see, is nasty loud. And then once that guy respawns, all these, well, we can start taking these out now because it does restart those. Or at 
guess we think we can. Not that he's gonna stay alive very long. But it is good practice, I suppose. And I think there's one more over here. Um oh, one more down there. Okay, I believe that's all of it. So this guy should spawn. There he goes. And he does get harder each and every time. But this thing just one shots him. Now, this is the trick that my friend T Dubs did. And I want to do this. Because I believe we don't need to. We'll use the TNT and the uh, Draconic uh, cores to make Awakened. Because I believe what will happen is that these four blocks will suck up that heart and will make our Awakened. Let's find out. Come on now. We can turn our volume up now too. This thing always takes a while to drop. Um, I'm going to leave that off for now. Yeah, it didn't work. Hmm, what a shame. Perhaps I did something wrong. Oh well. I'll have to waste some more diamonds. I'm going to learn how to do that. Because uh, it was pretty cool. I'm going to have to watch this video back. Go ahead and get these goodies. What was that? Epic shader grab bag. I don't. That's new to me. Let's go ahead and get our blocks. We're gonna have to do that the old-fashioned way, I suppose. I'm gonna have to watch this video back because. I knew he did that and it worked and it was pretty darn cool. Um, anyway, let's go do that. Let's make ourselves some Draconic. All that we can. Because uh, I want to start using that Awakened. Alright. Let's go ahead and sleep. I'm probably going to need to farm up a bunch of Nether Stars. So that might be the focus of the next stream. And then what else do we need? Draconic cores. 16. See, it would save us 16 diamonds if I could figure out how to do that. I think it's pretty cool. Alright. Stow that stuff away that we don't need. Let's go do this. Uh huh, uh huh. And so we did the last one, so we'll do it right next to it. How about you there? You go right there. Excellent. Maybe I didn't have them spaced far enough apart or something. This will give us eight draconic blocks. So 
good day. Let's see just how much that is. Over a stack. So, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Back to base. And then I want to take a look and see what we can actually do with those. All right, let's clean up our inventory a little bit. I don't like having a messy inventory. So let's take a look here. So we did accomplish that achievement. And what we need now is Upgrade Waven Core to Awakened. Okay. Which is going to require some other stars. So definitely, definitely, definitely. So I need just four nether stars to make the one Awakened Core along with four Awakened Draconum Draconic ingots. So I'm going to do a little math here. That's four ingots and four nether. That will give us one awakened core. Now also to complete the rest of these rest of these achievements. We need to make Uh, it's the power one, sword, shovel, the axe, uh, some sort of an, an axe, the bow, not sure what that is, kick it up a notch, and then these are the um, armor, and then we make that the big one when we combine these together. So pretty much anything that says awakened, uh, let's see what it's going to take to make. So all the Draconic components. What we could do is just take a look at that and see what you can make it with it. So we'll need one of those for that, which is going to require, I'm going to guess, yeah, I'm going to say we're going to need that. Um, it's one more another star. What else do we need? There's another another star. So there's four more another stars. There's one, right? So that's one set, two sets. Three sets, and that requires another star as well. So each one of those requires another star. Four sets, five sets. Oh, just up to four sets. There's five, six. That one's pretty complicated, huh? Seven, eight. Does that require one? Yep. And an extra one. Nine, ten. And two more of those. And then eleven. So we need eleven sets plus an additional. nine. So I'm going to go ahead and just farm up a stack of nether stars, which means I need three stacks of nether heads, which should not take too long to do uh, with a skeleton skulls. Yeah, I wonder if I should not make the draconic grinder 
and get that guy going. I bet you I should. Let's do that. It'll be much more efficient to make this grinder than it will be to do it by hand, for sure. So we have the mob grinder. And now what I need is witherproof stuff. Which, this isn't too bad, dark steel. I have to make a bunch of it. Um, coal, obsidian, and iron. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of that going. In, pre in preparation to make um, all the awakened gear that we need, which we'll probably finish in the next stream. We'll, we will kill all the withers that we need. Um, we'll have this running. Farm up our skulls, kill all the withers we need, and then the next video we just craft, craft, craft all the rest of the draconic stuff and we should be able to finish it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.